Hello, science enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey through the wonders of science and innovation at the Manchester Museum of Science and Industry. The museum traces the development of science, technology, and industry, with emphasis on the city's achievements in these fields. The museum is part of the Science Museum Group, a non departmental public body of the Department for Digital, Culture, Media, and Sport. Welcome. The Science and Industry Museum is a place full of amazing objects and world-changing ideas, located on the site of the oldest surviving passenger railway station which opened in 1830 as part of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway in the heart of the world's first industrial city, where science met industry and the modern world began. The museum is free to visit, open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The museum is a charity and rely on visitor donations to keep the doors open and help inspire the scientists, engineers, inventors and innovators of tomorrow. Revolution Manchester Gallery From big ideas to small inventions, discover the pioneering work that helped to shape life as we know it. Madeline Linford The journalist Madeline Linford's successful career helped pave the way for today's female journalists. She remained the only woman in the paper's editorial department for over 20 years. Granada TV This is a 1976 microprocessor used for military systems by Ferranti. And this is a 1981 BBC microcomputer made by Acorn. The one per desk computer by ICL and Sinclair Research from 1985. It was an innovative hybrid phone and computer for 24-hour office use. It automatically answered calls using a voice synthesizer and 16 preset messages. The 1985 Stack Assembly Processor Unit. This series of computers featured a nodal architecture for sharing memory, making the computer much faster. A replica of the Manchester Baby. In 1948, the Manchester Baby, also known as the small-scale experimental machine SEM, made history by running the world's first stored program computer program. In 1946, Freddie Williams became professor of electrotechnics at the University of Manchester. During the Second World War, he had worked on improving radar systems. Assisted by Tom Kilburn, he used this knowledge to test the storage of instructions on cathode ray tubes. This involved building the small-scale experimental machine, nicknamed the Baby, to see if it could run a stored program. These features laid the foundation for the computers we use today. This is a working replica of the Baby, the world's first stored program computer. The original Baby ran its first program at the University of Manchester in June 1948. Within months, it was enlarged to create the Manchester Mark I computer. Only a few parts survive. Members of the Computer Conservation Society built this unique replica for the 50th anniversary in 1998, using historic components. The legacy of the Manchester baby lives on, as its innovations paved the way for the computers and technology we rely on today. Its impact on the field of computing is immeasurable. The very first iPad is 10,000 times faster than the Manchester baby. The Textiles Gallery Explore Manchester's relationship with cotton through fascinating displays, demonstrations and hands-on activities. The Textile Gallery showcases the rich industrial history of Manchester, highlighting the city's role in the textile industry during the Industrial Revolution. Witness the intricate process of weaving and spinning, crucial components of Manchester's textile prowess. ABC Wax started making textiles like these at their Manchester factory in 1908. 
They sold them to customers in West Africa for almost 100 years before production moved to Ghana in 2007. Family and kids interactive play area and educational resources which make it an ideal destination for visitors of all ages. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay curious.